What's up, y'all? It's yours truly, Mr. Telefro. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Real quick, real quick, before we get into the video, I'm gonna give y'all all the facts and information. If you don't mind, please, if you have not done so, like my Facebook page. I'm doing some great things over there on Facebook. Just give me a little time to cook up. If you have your phone out, you can swing off this app and go to Facebook real quick. Just like my page, type in Miss Telefresh, Miss Telefresh, all that great stuff. It should pull up easily. Just like the page, follow the page. It, it means the world to what we're trying to do. So thank y'all so much for that. Now let's get into Meek Mill. Congratulations is in order for Meek Mill, who's been granted a new hearing. So I want to break this down in totality, why a, a new hearing is so important to Philadelphia's own Meek Mill. So Meek has pretty much been on probation since 2008. Back in 2008, that's what, over a decade ago, Meek Mill, a young 19-year-old, 20-year-old rapper, he was convicted on drug and gun charges. Again, 2008, a young Meek Mill, we make mistakes. Again, he was in the streets. He's never shied away from that, trying to make a living for himself. We ain't advocating for people to sell drugs, but obviously things happen, right? So Meek got locked up in 2008 in order for me to get out what you and what they do to so many of us in, in, our, in our system especially in the black community is they offer you probation to get you out of jail and you like shoot i'll take anything to get me out of prison or jail wherever you at so you take these long probations and what has happened to meek mill which happens to a lot of people he's just on that platform is before your probation is over you end up doing something petty and it gets you back in that system, whether you get caught with like a little petty drug charge or you get caught with a DUI or some people get caught with a gun on them and they don't have the right paperwork. You know, things happen. This happens every day in our community. For Meek Mill, it's been a little petty stuff like one of his homies got to fight at an airport and they blame Meek Mill for it. Meek Mill didn't get a video cleared the right way. He was popping wheelies and shooting a, a, a video that he, he probably didn't get cleared correctly. It's been stuff like that that's kept him in the system. Also, I think he had dirty piss one time, which it's Meek's fault. But again, not to the point where you think this man should be locked up. But technically, if you have any contact with police in most probation violations, they can lock you back up for it. And unfortunately, with the line of work that Meek Mill does, some of the stuff that he's around, you, you just can't avoid, right? Like, just it is, it is what it is. And with that, Meek's like, yo, can I get a new case? This has been since 2008. Y'all keep adding a year or two of probation every time I have any type of interaction with a police officer. Also, a lot of people don't know this. The arrested officer, one of the arrested officers in Meek Mill's 2008 drug and gun charge, he was named a dirty cop. This dude, Reginald Graham, was on a secret list kept by the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office that names him as a poor or untrustworthy officer of the law. So this dude was dirty, doing shit under the table. And he was one of the guys to arrest Meek Mill with this drug or gun charge. Now, Meek ain't even denied the drug or gun charge. I think what Meek has been so adamant about is, in the report, it says he aimed his gun at the police. And Meek was like, I'd be dead right now. I'm summarizing Meek's word. He's like, I'd be dead right now if, I ain't, if I'm a black man with braids from the hood in the trenches and I aimed a weapon at a police officer, what are the chances of you surviving? So that's been Meek's things, like I ain't aimed no gun and no cops, right? So Meek has been fighting, obviously back in 2017, Meek did get locked up. He uh, received a two to four year prison sentence because of a, a probation violation. He did a little bit of that time and with the help of some very rich people, a la the Michael Rubens of the world, the Robert Krabs of the world, the Jay-Z's, the Meek, uh, the Kevin Hart, excuse me, of the world. They helped get this dude out. And since then, I mean, he's been on a very, very positive wave. Meek's been dropping music, but more importantly, he's been a part of a prison reform organization where a lot of rich people didn't put together money to figure out the justice system. I mean, he's doing some powerful stuff. And when you just see Meek on social, again, he got the jury just like the next artist. To me, Meek seemed like he on a positive wave. That's just me personally. It just seemed like he got good energy around him. I've told y'all about this times uh in the past like it felt like meek was victim blaming a lot but meeks admitted like yo in the past i was on drugs and to me he don't seem like the victim blaming dude anymore he seemed like he's grown up and matured and i'm happy for him he just got a huge dub all right meek will get a new hearing for that 2008 conviction on that drug and gun charge and uh, apparently according to meeks attorneys 
it will start as soon as July. Now, what I'm hearing, don't quote me on this part, is the only part that I can't confirm. With the new hearing, he'll get a new judge. Obviously, Judge Janice Brinkley, this judge that we've heard a lot about in Philadelphia who seems like she has it in for Meek Mill, seems like she's go, she goes hard on Meek Mill. Meek claims that one time when he was in a chamber, it was him, Nicki Minaj, and this judge, she asked him one time to make her a re rendition of a Boys to Men song called On Bending Knee. She wanted Meek Mill to make her a hot new record. That's Meek's claim. Also, Meek claims that this judge wanted him to sign to a management group in Philadelphia with a friend, right? Like, again, there's been multiple things put in the atmosphere. I don't know what part of that is true or not. I think one thing that we cannot deny is this, this judge wants Meek Mill locked up, and I'm hearing that Meek Mill will get a new judge. I think that's how it works, right? The recusal of this judge, Denise Brinkley, uh, will happen, and not only will he get a new hearing, new judge comes with that. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Don't, don't quote me on that little part, but this is a big win for Meek Mill. You get a new set of eyes on this case, and the judge gets to see the new Meek Mill, gets to see the good that he's doing in the community, how impactful he's he has been, how his piss ain't probably ain't dirty anymore, right? How he ain't on drugs. How he's not on. I think he admitted that he was addicted to Percocets in the past, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't think he's on that wave anymore. So this is is great for Meek Mill. It's a huge dub, and honest to God, truth is probably what keeps him out, not only out of prison but maybe could get that probation turned around. And what that would mean for Meek is if he get caught doing a wheelie in New York in 2020 or 2021, he won't get locked up for it, right? Because he'll be technically a guy with nothing on his record if he's able to win this case when he when this hearing starts. So we will see. I'm rooting for Meek Millie. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. Look, you could have got this news outlet from a thousand other different places, but you're here listening to me. You gave me the last eight, nine minutes of your life because you put some type of trust in me and my ability to, to deliver news to you. And that truly means the world to me. It's something that I don't take for granted. It's a privilege that I just don't take for granted. And I'll never take it for granted. If I ever take it for granted, be my guest, unsubscribe for me. You know what I mean? Like, don't ever let me get on the high horse. That, that's my obligation to the people. I thank y'all so much for your time, love, support. Y'all say that for every video, the time, love, and support is what I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.